Jeffrey, you know, what is going on? Is there a leadership challenge? And if so, who by? I think there are a small number of people who are not really thinking uh, this thing through properly. Because if you want a leadership challenge, you want another leader, you've got to decide who you want. Now, supposing we had those 53 letters that you were talking about, and we did have a leadership contest, as Sam was just saying, I can rattle off four names very quickly, as uh, Kemi, Suella, Robert Janrek, and Penny Morden, who would probably certainly be in the race, and possibly others, and there'll be no unity amongst the party as to who should uh, actually be our leader eventually, and I'm not sure that the splits wouldn't continue. So I think, actually, uh, we would be very, very foolish uh, to try and think at this stage of wanting a new leader before the election. So you think that's not the answer? Certainly that's what number 10 are pushing out. And we've got uh, the Prime Minister saying, you know, things are going to get better. I mean, you never know, they might stop a few more boats. You might get a plane off the ground to Rwanda with a uh, you know, best case scenario, a couple of hundred people over the year. Um, inflation coming down, cost of living e eases, less of an issue, and things might be looking up. The trouble is the message that seems to be coming back from the focus groups and the polling is that people have gone, even if you achieve all of that, People have said, well, you know what? You've had your time. It's 14 years. We, we, know, we don't even necessarily think that Labour are going to be any better, but we think we're done with you guys. You had your chance and you didn't deliver it. And anything you are delivering on, it, is you're only doing it just because of the election coming up and we don't necessarily trust you're going to stand by any of that. That's a fair, that's a fair reading by voters, isn't it? Well, I think if, if... Supposing we did have a change of leader, four different leaders in four years... I think the country and the world would consider the Conservative Party as a laughing stock. And I think there's another aspect to all of this. If we did have another leader, I think there'll be an incredible pressure on that person to say, well, you haven't been elected by the country. You must have a general election immediately. So I actually think having another leader would make the situation worse. You know, there's an old maxim in politics. A united parties win elections, disunited parties lose elections. So I think our, our, our party should rally around Rishi Sunak. You've given uh, some, of the, some of the reasons why things are improving. The economy is improving, inflation's coming down. Uh, he's achieved a lot with Northern Ireland. He's improved our relationships with, with Europe. Uh, education standards are rising. There's lots and lots of things that are getting better in this country. We've had two massive shocks, the economy, the pandemic, uh, and the and the war with Ukraine. He's calmly got over that situation, and now we're making real progress as a country. So I think we should actually think about that very carefully, think how we're going to win an election and back him to the hilt. Well, the thing is, I mean, those are all perfectly reasonable, valid points in terms of the good points, the bad points, and, and, and lots of people would say, yeah, they understand all that. But still, they're kind of done now. And that's the issue, isn't it? There are these sort of swings and cycles that voters have and say, well, you know, we're, we're kind of ready to move on and give, give the other guys a try. You say that, you know, the Tories would be a laughing stock if they had a fourth leader. But if there was a fourth leader who could inspire people, who, who people felt was going to make big sweeping changes, you stood for something different, or perhaps, oh, I don't know, mind-blowing idea, actually put into, uh, into effect some of the policies that people thought they'd voted for in 2019 when they voted Conservative and get, delivered the 80 majority, then maybe that would happen. But as you say, you've got the right and the left completely divided. Is it, is it possibly, you know, the beginning of the end for the Conservative Party? And being a broad coalition has its strengths, but it also has its fundamental weaknesses. And actually, you've got a load of MPs in your party who don't really agree on very much anymore. Well... I think a number of those points would still uh, pertain if we had a new leader. If we had a new leader, this uh, sort of uh, fourth election win, uh, we want to change, that would still be just as prevalent uh, uh, on a new leader. I think what we've got to do is actually concentrate what Rishi Sunak's doing, making the right decision for the country, trying in to improve the lives of ordinary people, trying to improve our public services, which is exactly what he's doing, and pointing out, who do you want to run the country for the next five years? Somebody who is actually quietly getting on improving the country or somebody who has a completely unproven record with no plan? And I think that's the argument we've got to keep making and then try and hope that people will hear that argument uh, and vote Conservative at the next election. The trouble is a lot of MPs who were sitting on what they thought were safe seats 
including, you know, people like Penny Morden. Like, you know, well, well, you know, if there's a leadership election come, which they need, well, in the event of a loss, and without doubt, there will be a leadership election uh, at the end of, uh, 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 if, if, if there's a Labour government. It, at that point, like, oh, they can run for a leadership then. But lots of those MPs are now saying, I don't even know if I'm going to still be an MP if we don't to make a change. I've got nothing to lose. Do you, are you 100% sure, you know, that y your seat would still remain a Conservative seat? So I think there's a number of things to say that. When you've won a, a huge uh, majority, as we did in 2019, history would say to you that it's very, very unlikely we're going to get that sort of majority again. Therefore, clearly, some existing Conservative MPs, including maybe even myself, I don't know, I'm working hard to get re-elected. Uh, I, I don't think in this uh, situation any Conservative MP can take anything for granted, and that's why I'm out working hard, very hard on the doorsteps. But the, the simple fact of the matter is we will not be, even if we win the election, not be as large a party as we are now, and therefore some of those Conservatives uh, will lose their seats, and obviously they are uh, thinking very hard what they can do to try and preserve those seats. But actually, I think almost anything they do, particularly a change of leader, okay. would make the situation worse. As Jeffrey Clifford Brown, really appreciate you joining us. Thank you.